Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? And welcome back to video 12. Now in this video I just wanted to talk about how we can cleverly use these photo panels at the top of our page. And I'm going to use my good friend Roshan's page as an example for this. Now, <clears throat> if you have a look here, he's got these five um, photos, these five images. Now if we go to click for a free ebook and actually click on that, okay and go down here you can see he's got here social rank recently put out a free out ebook outlining 10 tips for social media this has got an amazing review from Chris Farrell and yours truly click here and when you click on that it takes you through to his free ebook clever huh uh, if we go along to here to wild look and click on that down here he says aha so you clicked on the wild button and then that takes you through to a motivational video of his choice which is fabulous if you click on social media strategy again he tells you you know we offer free um, sessions let us know what you want and we'll be in touch etc yeah so you can basically put whatever you want um, behind your photos so when people click on them they learn something new so I've done it with this look if we now click on SNA down the bottom it says, for more information on the Social Networking Academy, please go to www.thesocialnetworkingacademy.com and that goes through to my homepage to tell everybody all about what the Social Networking Academy.com is. Very clever, I'm thinking. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to load up these other four photos and we're going to put this information with them and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so we're going to go down here to photos, or I think you could do it directly from here actually. Uh, no, that's reset the photo strip. Go down here to photos, and we want to upload some more photos. So if we come up here, okay, because I've already created this album, so I would just click on that, but let's start from the very beginning. We've got upload photos. So you want to click on upload photos, and then select photos, okay. Uh, so I want to go into where my images are, so let's go in here and my SNA images, okay, and so I want to upload this one and I can upload multiple photographs, so I'm now click clicking on all four and I'm pressing the command button on a Mac or it'd be the control button on a PC in order to upload multiple photos, which is all four of them, okay, so my photos are now being uploaded and uh, I'm going to call the album SNA2 um, and then I'm just going to click create album as soon as those photos are uploaded there we go as quick as that how fantastic is that create album create your album while you wait upload successful okay now look what we've got here here's our photos okay here is our caption so here's where we can put what we want to go next to our photo okay so for all your free um, welcome page templates, both, uh, both for iframes and for static FBML, click here. And then I would have a link which is currently www.facebook dot com forward slash free fan page templates by the time you watch this video it may well be all on the social networking academy page but that's that's where it is for now so we'll leave that there need help click here i'm going to say uh, for all of your facebook challenges contact me at www oops at www.joebarnes online.com forward slash support yeah uh, I haven't decided what the surprise is yet and then here's my <coughs> link so let's just put the link in you know I would put something for all of my great videos go to youtube.com forward slash uh, now I'm just changing this at the moment so it's S N A F Facebook TV okay uh, so that's Social Networking Academy Facebook TV and that's where all of my videos are okay so I would then save changes and I'm going to publish 
Okay, so they're all going to go actually now on my main page, which is okay. You can remove them from there. That's absolutely fine. And let's go back to the Social Networking Academy page and to the wall. And now look at that. They're all there, okay, which I think is really quite cool. So now if I go to click here for your free templates, boom, there's for all your free templates and you can click through to that page. Yeah. Uh, surprise, we haven't done that one yet, have we? Need help, click here. For all your Facebook challenges, contact me at joebarnesonline.com support. Yeah. And watch my video collection and there's my um, link to my YouTube channel with all of my Facebook videos on it. I think that is really, really super cool. So I for one would like to say a big thank you to Roshan for coming up with that fantastic strategy. Um, and I hope that you guys um, will go and put that into play because I think that's brilliant. Okay, <clears throat> so there we go. That's just a little tip on how to how to really use these photo tabs up here cleverly. Um, in the next video, guys, we are now going to go over and we are going to create your welcome page. How exciting is that? Let me just see how we're doing for time. Six minutes. Let me just quickly show you what I'm going to show you. Here we are on my free fan page templates. And if we go over to welcome, that is currently my welcome page. Now that is actually a custom built welcome page. I'm actually going to show you how to use my opt-in generator tool. Um, and I'm going to show you how to use my iframe tool. Okay, but what you're essentially going to end up with is a header. Um, and you're going to end up with an opt-in form and a place to put your video and anything else that you want to put on there. Okay, uh, let me just show you an example of one of my <clears throat> iframe um, social media rocks. This is an iframe tab that I created the other day. Uh, this is one I'm going to show you how to do very easily. This is an, uh, a form straight off Aweber. If you don't know what Aweber is, don't worry, I'm going to explain all that to you in the next video. But there's your opt in, there's a picture. Um, you know, that's an Aweber form. Um, this is a, a slightly more complex iframe tab, but I'm going to show you um, using my templates how to create your own iframe tab. Okay, without this scroll bar, by the way. All right. Okay, guys, thank you very much for uh, listening to this video. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.